In this tutorial, I'm going to touch base on your cPanel webmail. How to create emails, uh, how to access those emails, how to change the passwords, and um, whatever else we can come up with here in the cPanel. So let's take a look. Oh, pardon my emails. Um, here we are on an affiliate's website. And um, to log into the cPanel, uh, let me turn down the radio here a little bit. To log into the cPanel, all we have to do is go to your website, backslash cPanel. That's if your host offers cPanel. Um, there's a couple of larger hosts that don't have a cPanel, like GoDaddy and some others. Uh, one and one's another. Um, so if you're in that, that category where you don't have a cPanel, then this tutorial won't apply to you. Um, if you are, let's continue. So what you're going to do here is you're going to type in your username and password and you'll be uh, taken to this initial dashboard and all of your cPanel options are in here so you have quite a bit in this tutorial we're going to focus on the mail section here um, when you first get your mail account <clears throat> the first thing that I do is I create my emails and so you'll see that um, Shante Jones has a couple of uh, emails here, one with her name and then the other one uh, with info at, uh, so she can, you know, brand herself in a couple of different ways. If she hired some people, uh, you know, let's say she hires Fred, we type in Fred here, uh, a password, and you can select the quota, which means the mailbox will end up full at some point. 250 megabytes is quite a bit. Um, if there's not a whole bunch of attachments, that could be few, you know a few thousand emails, so um, or maybe more. Uh, if you have a lot of attachments, it could be uh, quite a bit less. It just depends on the size of some of the stuff that's being uh, downloaded into your system. I generally choose unlimited. One caveat to that is that you're going to want to make sure that you go in and erase emails unless you have an unlimited hosting account. It's always a good idea to go in here and kind of purge your old emails. Uh, you know, maybe once a month, once a quarter, once a year, whatever type of person you are. Um, as far as, you know, busy, can't get to it. Uh, if you have some employees, that would be great. You know, something for them to do is purge those old emails. To access your webmail, there's a couple of ways you could do that. Um, I'm going to right click and open this in a new tab. You click on access your webmail, click on go to webmail, and then you have these three options here. Now, if you click on webmail from the interior here, it's not actually assigned to an ID that's an email. It's assigned to this master account. So this one's not going to work. We're going to have to go back. Um, another way to access your webmail is to go to corporate caliber media here and then go backslash webmail. Then you hit enter. And this will bring you here. Uh, and, and we're still logged in as this other person. You would then put your email address in, and you'd also put uh, your password in, and it'll bring you to this screen. You have three options of looking at your mail. You can configure your mail client, which means you know set it up to your phone or Thunderbird or uh, Microsoft Outlook or Mac Mail, and um, all of those configuration settings are in here. We'll do another tutorial on that. It'll take some time. Um, if you click round cube here, this is the one I like the best. It seems to be more in tune with some of the, I guess, more latest email uh, uh, technology that's out there. The other ones seem kind of archaic. Um, in this inbox, there's not going to be anything here, but you just basically look through your inbox here. Um, you can uh, you look through your set. It's just it's a, a basic everyday um, email account now. One thing we want to notice here is that uh, we're going to want to turn on our spam hammer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enable that for these emails and click save. Changes saved. What that does is it'll take some of the spam away from you. Uh, spam assassin, we're going to want to enable that. Um, we just got a few more seconds here left on the video. And you can um, auto delete the spam or you can create a spam box. So you want to create that spam box so that you have that folder. And there you go. You've set up your email. You've created email accounts. You can go in here and delete old email accounts just by clicking more here. Uh, you could access them, configure your mail client, and delete. But that's all we have for today.